Buenos días y bienvenidos al episodio número 10 ahora con Academia Juvenil en Santos Laguna. We are in La Liga 1, 2, 3 and what we're trying to do is obviously promote our team to La Liga, be able to play against the big boys, but what we're trying to do is grow the team obviously from our youth academy or from uh, other region players. Now we've been trying to stick with jugadores mexicanos because eventually we're going to take over Mexico uh, and try to win World Cup titles there. But right now, the board has given us a permission to go ahead and seek out two different players that are really top prospects here. And we've sent out offers for them. They are Diego Javier Amo Torres. And he is a center defensive mid from España. And we are going to send an inquiry about him. And we also have Rafael Melo Fagundes de Brasil. And he's a center back from Brasil. And we are going to send an inquiry about him also because we would like to have both of the players join us. So let's go ahead and fast forward a couple of different days here. We are in the January transfer window. It is January 23rd right now. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Let's see what kind of offers they come back with. It looks like we have a uh, response to Diego Javier Amo Torres. We, they want uh, 1.6 million and we are going to go ahead and send them 1.6 million because we don't want to mess around. We want this player. It says he's a future first team player um, as far as his role within the team. Here's a couple of other players that I've put out inquiries for um, that we're going to just ignore for right now. Here's the bid for Rafael Melo Fagundes and they want two million for him but we've got plenty of funds right now. Uh, we're sitting at 278,000 for wage budget and uh, like seven million for the other budget there. Let's see if these guys or if their teams accept the offer and then let's try to see if we can get them on right away before the Real Oviedo game. That's what our hope is for. Uh, our purchase to, has been accepted on both players. So what we're going to do is he wants 3150 I'm going to offer him 4000 four years in crucial first team. And really we're just overpaying just to make sure that they jump, sign up on the team. For our team, they are really top level players. So that's one for him. We're going to give him 44, no, let's go 5400 and four years in crucial first team player. Both of them are going to be starters if they can get onto the team or as soon as they get onto the team because we're going to make sure we sign them. Again, we want them to be on before the Real Oviedo game. Hopefully right here. Accepted. Accepted. Very nice. We are going to sign them up. Diego Javier Amo Torres is coming on as a center defensive mid. And then we also are going to have Rafael Melo Fagundes de Brasil also joining us a center back, 19 years old. Aquí estamos en el Estadio Corona. Santos Laguna contra Real Oviedo. En la Liga 1-2-3. We really need some points here. And we would really like to score some goals. We are tired of all of these ties. We really want to make sure that we're doing something productive here. We're trying to go ahead and stay off of the uh, turbo button. Let's see if we can make that happen, see? Vamos. Second half, here he is, the beast, Alfonso Guzman de Colombia. Check out the dreads. He is ready to go. And El Equipo de Santos Laguna. Not a bad first half. Nothing too exciting, but it's all right. We got to go one step at a time. Oh, nice little play there. Nice steal. We got a guy running, El Cuesta. Cuesta sees a man. We have Diaz, Diaz. Protecting the ball, good job for him. Sees another man, sees another man. Morales, he's gonna have a shot, yes, Morales! <laughs> Goal! Morales! Ah! Johnny Tsunami was correct. Pass, pass, little outside pass. Went with his left foot, just blasted it through, and the goalie made a mistake and let it go anyway. Morales strikes that super hard. Goalkeeper, 
Actually, it was a rising ball. It was a great shot. Incredibly difficult for him to stop. Woo! Uno a cero contra Real Oviedo. Here we go. Real Oviedo atacando. Atacando Erice. Todo el medio. Erice otra vez. Vila. Vila. Acá afuera. Ortiz. Ortiz has a step on my man. Oh, good job. Oh, we might have dispossessed him. We did. I'm telling you. Hey, hey, hey. That was from behind there, buddy. Vasquez takes this ball. Vasquez finds a man. He sees a man. It's a Diaz. Diaz is gonna take it easy because he doesn't really see anybody. And oh, Guzman just gives up the ball there. I don't know what just happened. Did we get a foul called on us? Oh, we were off sides. That guy was off sides. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. See, it's not a big deal. Oh, a little pass there. Lazy by the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper has been making a couple of different mistakes. All right, here they come. Real Oviedo on el ataque. They're not happy about this. They expected to win this game. Guzman gets in there and gets the gets a nice tackle. Standing tackle. And here we go, counterattack. Nice little move. He sees a man. Oh, gets it taken away. Oh my goodness. I think it was Fortunatis Maya had a man there, but couldn't get it out to him. Amo Torres is getting back into position. There he is. He's sitting back a little bit. He's sitting up a little bit further than Guzman, which is exactly where I wanted him. Guzman, sit back a little bit more, buddy. Come on. Here comes the attack by Real Oviedo. Ortiz coming around the outside. Ortiz. Oh, what a great tackle there by Correa. Correa. Oh, we're excited there. That was like a football tackle. Woo! A lot of fatigue is showing right now. The dribbling by Varela. What's good is, is he's not doing that well either. Oh, we kick it out of bounds, but not, no, it's just a throw in here. Whew, substitutions are coming in. It's the 86th minute. Santos Laguna holding on to a slim lead. 1 a 0 against Real Oviedo, who's at the top of the bracket. Kick it out of there. Nice job. Coming back through the middle. Oh my gosh. Oh, the attack here by the computadora. Here's uh, Bedia. Bedia, who just came in off the bench. He's very fresh. Bedia, get to take it away though. Nice play. Way to play it back there. Great job. Yes. Ah! Uno a cero! Herb Spanish shakes hands. Ah! Here we are in Town Park, Sevilla Atletico contra Santos Laguna. And we have a little bit of snowflakes in the air here in Madrid. My goodness, it's getting cold today. Here we are, a little snow on the ground. We'll see what happens. Vamos a ver aquí. See? Pase, pase, pase. Remember, build up slow. It's okay to take our time. Muy bien. Se ve atlético con movement. We have Berrio out here. Berrio. Look into the middle. Berrio. Nice pass. Guzman getting back into position, I hope. Big shot there. Oh. Nice save by Morales. Fires that ball. That's Carlos. That ball's going definitely to the goal. What a save there. If you don't find space, it's totally fine. Oh, there's a nice little space. There's Gallardo. Gallardo kicking it back though. Doesn't see enough movement there. He's looking for Guzman. Guzman who usually doesn't move up at all. Acuna. Acuna la atacando. Acuna slips on the snow there. Disappointing by Acuna. Good little move overall, but slips down before he shot that ball. It's okay. And Rivero's upset that he didn't cross the ball. He just hogged it and didn't even give him a shot at, by crossing it to him. Aquí tenemos Carrillo a Fede. Fede al medio. Lager, Lazo, Matos. No. Ended up being cero a cero at halftime. What a disappointing half. 
Nothing really has gone well. Sevilla Atlético contra Santos Laguna. Bueno, aquí estamos en el Estadio Corona. Santos Laguna contra Elche. En la Liga 1, 2, 3. This is Episodio 10, the last game of Episodio 10. And let's see if we can pull out a win here against Elche. We're still sitting in the middle of the table at 10th place. And we're going to just see if we can go ahead and put something together here in this game. Oh my goodness. This Melo Fagundes is such a beat. Oh! What a strike by Noblejas. How did that not go in? Noblejas gets a little bit of... Oh my gosh, we got super lucky. Little pass out. Trying to find a man. Great play by Fagundes. El Brasileño. And it's halftime. 0 a 0. Super disappointing half. Here comes Guzman. Segundo tiempo. Here we go. Elche contra Santos Laguna. First half was boring. 0 a 0. Nada, nada. Limonada. But here we come. Irv Spanish saying, Come on, boys. Got to make some moves. Better get back in the position. There's a steal. There's a pass. Here we go. Diaz. 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 Come on, buddy. Guzman. Para el medio. Acá. Rivero. Rivero gets it rejected. Guzman. Guzman looking for the middle. Saavedra. Saavedra sees a man. Yes. Has a man. Cutting through the middle. Has somebody turning? Yes! It's finally there! We have it! I think it's Diaz! It's Diaz! Yes! Oh my! We've broken through in the 83rd minute. Haven't done anything all game long. Diaz! Goal! Hold them off on the defensive side. Oh my goodness. He's open! Oh! Oh my goodness, el pelón, Nino. Nino, el pelón is being grabbed there by Fagundes. No foul is called. Morales, just boot this thing out. Morales. Guzman, looking for a run. Doesn't have it. Acá, Guzman, para el medio. Yes! Yes! Uno a cero, Santos Laguna con el juego aquí. En episodio 10. Bueno, that's going to be it for us. Episodio 10. If you gave, if you liked the episode, give it a like. And please subscribe to El Canal. We got more episodes to come here. We are going to play in the next uh, series. Let's check out what games we have coming up. We have Numancia. And then Valladolid. Y luego Lejanes in February. So we've got three games in February to go ahead and play. We'll play those three games in episodio numero 11. Adios, amigos. Hasta la vista.